Well, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure. Uh, welcome to the Netherlands. Welcome to Dutch Comic Con. Welcome to our viewers. Uh, how is Comic Con treating you here in the Netherlands? I'm having a great time when I come to the Netherlands. Uh, um, you, you visit often? I am an occasional visitor. Okay. And are you recognized <laughs> on the floor no, or no? no? I well, I have anonymity is on my side, shall okay. we say, because a great deal of my, well, a great many of my parts are defined by their physicality, defined by their makeup or masks, etc. Yeah. etc. Yeah. So yeah. I have anonymity on my side. I can walk down the street. <laughs> no, we're not <laughs> really getting <laughs> ready, man. Is that? Oh, to, honestly, that's it. That's it. Uh, isn't it? Uh, how do you say? Uh, you don't have an ego. You have don't have to sometimes the the, 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 the need to get recognized or it's a strange I've question. I've got a life to go. Uh, are, 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 are you are you like, comfortable with <laughs> not recognized with it? Come on, we've all got egos. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. that's why I'm asking. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be massaged all the time. It's not. I don't have time for that. You know, I've got okay. a young family. I've got to get them to school in the morning. I've got to go to the supermarket. <laughs> So, <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. So you you're really you're you're good with it. It's I've got a life to get on with. Okay. Um, first of all, thanks for playing in Game of Thrones. Yeah, Your character work. was amazing, being the big man uh, walking around the mountain. Um, how was your experience? Uh, how did you experience the whole setup within uh, Game of Thrones? Your your part as a whole, Game of Thrones. It's, it's no secret, it's the most uh, successful one and the most popular TV shows uh, on TV at the moment. It's such a joy to be a part of the production, it really is. Um, not a day goes by when I don't you know, give thanks for the fact that I keep getting asked back. <laughs> you know, I started off uh, season one, episode one, playing the White Walker. Yeah. Um, oh, you were, oh, really? Yeah, it was just a very quick, uh, very quick scene. Uh, uh, I think it was the first person to get killed in the entire in the, in the old series. Show. Really, grabbed the guy by the head and sliced his head off. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sounds really terrible. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, um, still, uh, I, I initially auditioned for the role of the mountain. Okay. Uh, and obviously, I didn't get the part. Uh, when I saw who, uh, who they cast as the mountain, I thought, well, he's absolutely perfect. Okay. And then, surprise of all surprises, uh, they uh, invited me to re-audition for, uh, for Series 2. You had to re-audition for, yeah, re for the mountain, yeah, really? Yeah. It is not said that you were playing the mountain for the whole course? No, 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 it was just for Season 2. Okay. Uh, and it didn't appear in Season 3 anyway, so I, yeah. I completely forgot about it. Uh, um, because you're, you're, you're there for for a whole stretch. Well, I, I was... There's, there was quite a lot of shooting uh, to be done in season two. I think uh, I, I took about eight different trips uh, to Belfast uh, altogether. Yeah. Because there were external scenes and internal scenes and all different locations. Um, yeah, I've always referred to that scene with Charles Dance as the, uh, as the um, headmaster's office. <laughs> <laughs> There's one person in Westeros that can keep the mountain on his toes. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's Tyrone Anderson. Correct. Yeah, it's yeah, like correct. being talked down to by, by the headmaster. Yeah. Like a naughty schoolboy. <laughs> You've been a bad boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You've been a bad boy. You better fuck your ideas up. Yeah. yeah. And uh, from from there, I went on to uh, from the Giants. Yeah. And okay. In season three it was just again a very quick shot, just to introduce the character. Yeah. In season four. Season four. The yeah. assault on on Castle Black. Yeah. Uh, the good big battle towards the end of season four. Um, hard home. And season five, I love one. He's great. Show me one one. The character one one. John okay. Uh, one one that I'm currently playing. Yeah. Uh, he's a great character. He really is. You know, he he's the last of the giants. Yeah, he's the last. Yeah, he survived the attack, of course. Yeah, and he's been thrown into this position of uh, you know responsibility because he's the he's the last. He's the last. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He has to keep his speeches. He's the last one. Yeah. Yeah. to say, okay. I'm just regurgitating. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> he's fighting. He, uh, he's fighting this battle. He's he's chosen to be part of this uh, you know this crusade basically. 
and it becomes more than just a uh, just a fight for survival. Yeah. Uh, for these guys. Yeah, because of course. He's now uh, uh, aligned himself with, with John Snow. John Snow, yeah. And uh, it's uh, he's got something to fight for. Okay. So we'll see you back in the six in season six. We'll have to wait and see. Right? Oh, we have to wait. Oh, we can't get any spoilers from you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm doing my best. Traveling. You, you've been traveling, of course, for the series. Have you been traveling abroad also, or just stayed in England? No, because the only time it has different places of of, of shooting, of course, all over the uh, all over Europe. The only location shooting I did for Game of Thrones was uh, Iceland for series three. Yeah, and we shot okay. the uh, the Wild and Camp mm -hmm. uh, scenes uh, in the north of Iceland. Yeah, which called Lake Mivat. Beautiful, pristine, untouched uh, wilderness. And um, most of my scenes are done in the, uh, in the studios in Belfast. Okay, so oh, wow, it's only just located one, yeah. one or two locations. Well, because the uh, the mountains are the mountains, the giants. Yeah. The giants are real giants. Yeah. Uh, real. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in, in a sense that they have to be size enhanced to be 15 feet tall. Yeah. Uh, when I go into the studio, uh, this this is no secret. I mean, the way it's been shot has been... No, of course, uh, and you've seen shot. it in, in with Lord yeah. of the Rings, etc. Yeah. Uh, um, when I go into the studio, it's uh, usually a green screen studio, yeah. and all the action has been done already, all the human action has been, has, has been shot. Yeah, it's been so I have to overlay my own action against what has already been uh, filmed. So you have to probably sit down for, for makeup for how long? Four, five hours? Makeup for the mountain is about three, three and a half. Three, three and a half hours. Yeah. What do you do in that time period? Because you have to sit still. I've done so many of these characters, uh, these prolonged makeups. Uh, yeah. A great many of the makeup artists uh, that I meet are already very good friends. Okay. So you make friends for life, I yeah. presume. So we get on my house on fire, we listen to music, we talk about stuff, you know, kids, families. Films, okay. dinner, so state of the economy. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, good. They have plenty to talk about. Okay, <laughs> you can't play it somewhere. Very, right, very occasionally, I drop off and have a good nap. So it is true that people attempt to nap in their makeup chair. You, know, you get up, you get up early. You know, you have a coffee. And coffee doesn't last forever. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Occasionally you drop off. So you have to probably get up early to, to, to get yeah. ready for the part, and then it's just a whole day shooting, I presume? Yeah, prosthetic makeup team are usually the first people on set and usually the last people to go leave. off. Yeah, yeah, of course, to, do, to uh, remove the, the prosthetics so that they can reapply the next time or new prosthetics uh, readiness. Yeah, exactly. We have to cut, yeah? Sir, thank you very much for your time. My absolute I hope you enjoy uh, the rest of the day uh, on the on the floor, and then uh, thank you again for the opportunity to have this interview. Thank you, my pleasure. Um, the death of the mountain, or the disappearance of the mountain, as he fell off. Oh, that's how. Sorry. Well, I have nothing at all to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm really mixing things up. Oh my goodness. Very sorry. We can cut it out if you want. We can cut it out. Good. That's 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 the <laughs>